in the two years between 2007 and 2009, really during the recession, um, the number of food insecure adults increased by 32% in those two years alone. And in those same two years, there was an increase of almost 40% among the 50 to 59 segment. As we move along, it's, it's an increasing priority for us, especially as it relates to Latino older adults. You know, as we traveled the country, uh, taking the pulse of the, of the Hispanic older adults, uh, one of the things that we heard over and over again this past year was uh, the challenges with nutrition. And um, I remember in, in being in Miami uh, this, this year, um, and you know, the, the older adults who were in attendance uh, telling us how difficult it was for them to manage their chronic illnesses, diabetes, for example, um, because they didn't have enough to eat. And this is, this is our reality. And so, you know, she, she, the woman was, was telling me, you know, I don't even have enough milk to, to, to take my, my medication. So th this is, this is um, you know, uh, real stories that are happening not just in, in South Florida, but really across the country. So, um, United Healthcare um, looks really at hunger from um, more of a health issue, quite honestly. I think we've had a lot of discussions here today in terms of some really difficult decisions that um, older Americans especially need to make. Um, and quite honestly, our position is that those positions should never have to be made uh, in terms of um, deciding over health care or medicine over food or making a, a tough decision of che uh, feeding their children that they're maybe in a position of caregiving for um, and feeding themselves. We're here today at a time when major, major decisions are being made with regard to the SNAP program. Um, yesterday, the president and Leader Boehner were having conversations and one of the issues that they are resolving for this fiscal cliff negotiation is how the farm bill can be included in this grand bargain and one of the two sticking points for that is SNAP after we adjourn today. This panel, I would implore you to get on your cell phones, call your members of Congress, make sure they weigh in with their leadership these decisions are going to be made within the next few days, so your participation here today is just critical.